is everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool green screen animation effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here, this is what the effect looks like right here. It's just comprised of a green screen animation. Now, no, I didn't actually come up with this idea. This video is inspired um, by King Tut's Pro. It's kind of where I got the idea from, so I want to give um, him credit for this idea, but I thought this was a really cool effect and I can definitely see myself kind of using or implementing this effect with some of my other previous effects, but I definitely think it's a really cool and really interesting effect and I will have the link to this green screen animation um, in the description below. It's not in like a plugin or effect, it's actually just a video that you can have to screen record. So let's head over here to the example right here and this is what the video looks like um, right here. It's just a normal um, video of Odo Beckham Jr. And as you can see right here, here is the green screen animation. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the animation, go place it right above the video right here. You want to go to the effects panel right here. Uh, we're going to head over to Keyer and we're going to apply a Keyer effect right here. So there you go. You have the Keyer effect um, is being applied right there. And the next thing you, you next thing you want to do is you want to head over to um, mask, and then you're going to want to apply a shape mask. So what you're going to do is then you can just go to 50%. It depends on what how big your video is right here, and then we're basically just going to increase it um, to something like that. You basically want to just place the shape mask right around the actual person. The reason you want to do that is because you don't want these numbers to actually like be on the person. You want it to kind of be like an outline around the person. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to head over to the shape mask right here and you're just going to invert the mask um, right here. Now of course you can mess with um, the feather, the fall off or everything like that. But this is what the effect looks like now. As you can see, the numbers aren't going around Odo Beckham Jr. and that's kind of the point right here. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to all right here and we're just going to type in um, glow right here. So let's go ahead and apply the glow effect right here. And as you can see right here, watch these numbers right here. Go ahead and turn it on, off. It creates a much more of like a glow effect right here. Now the next effect you're going to want to apply is called the streak effect. Now let's head down here and we'll just type in um, a streak effect as in like light streak right here. So let's apply the streak effect um, right here. Now what you want to do is wait for it to render a little bit. Head down to the settings and we could just turn um, the amount down and you could turn down the thickness. It just depends on what look you want to go for right here. You could turn down the glow. You could mess with the threshold right here. It's of course all up to you right here. You could mess with the variation, mess with the angle, you can mess with a whole bunch of different settings. And of course you could actually just change the color right here. So we'll go for an orange color right here. So as you can see right there, there you go. You have created this really cool um, glow effect right here. And this is what the effect um, with a final edit of the effect looks like right here. So all you're doing right here is you're just applying the key effect, apply the shape mask around the person, apply a glow effect to the actual green screen, and then apply the streak effect. Important to note that all this stuff is applied onto the green screen. We'll click on the video right here and there are no effects. So all of these effects have to be applied onto the green screen clip um, right here. So go over here. And I'll just go ahead and just delete this right here. And I'll break down this effect right here. As you can see, I adjusted a couple more settings. And then right here, now you could um, keyframe the mask or whatever. But for the most part, if you watch um, Odo Beckham Jr., for the most part, he kind of stays, you know, pretty much within the draw mask. Um, in, the, in the shape mask right here. But again, if the person is moving a lot, you're going to want to keyframe um, the shape mask um, right there. So basically the control points, you want to just keyframe the control points if you can or whatever. But we'll just basically, if you want to keyframe it or you want to use a draw mask, but for the most part, you can pretty much just have the shape mask around the person. I would encourage you to probably have a video where the person isn't moving. If the person is moving a lot, you could probably just keyframe masks. Um, for the most part, find a clip where the person is staying pretty still uh, because it will work pretty well. So again, you, we have a keyer effect 
onto the green screen right there. As you can see right here, here is the shape mask right here. Here are all the settings that I used. I have a glow effect right here to help make it look a lot nicer. And then here is the streak effect right here. So let's go ahead and disable it right here. Here are all the settings. The mount is at 26. Uh, thickness negative 0.7, threshold 0.3, glow 20, variation 17%, angles at 180, and the color is orange. And that's basically if you want to just go ahead and copy these settings if you want to look exactly identical to what I did. But of course, if it's your own video, so you can go ahead and mess with your own settings um, right here. But at the end of the day, that's pretty much how you create the effect here shape mask, glow, and streaks. And there you go, you create this really cool glow animation effect. And literally that's all you do to create um, this really cool effect. I personally really like it. It doesn't have to be this kind of like math um, animation thing. It can be absolutely any effect you want, but you want to have an animation that is moving. I believe I made a video on like the um, vintage scan effect. I think this, this effect will work pretty well with it. I'm not sure I haven't tested it out, but of course you don't have to use this exact green screen animation. You can use any kind of animation, but I think it's a really cool and interesting effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 140 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,